it's emissionless, sustainable, and it's completely uh, intelligently controlled. Uh, yeah. High Life Innovations operates from the Dutch island, Goriovaflaki. Innovative partnerships, like those of High Life and Inapta, are indispensable to mitigate climate change through the integration of green hydrogen. So High Life is a Dutch company that innovates in clean tech solutions. And we are building right now a smart energy hub that is meant to provide heating, cooling and electrical energy to a whole district of houses. So welcome in Eindhoven. Uh, this is a High Life's testing location for Innova Hub. Let's go inside and check it out. Here we built the installation and we are right now in the process of assembling the whole system. And we are really glad to show you around and to tell you a little bit more about why we built Innova Hub. So we are currently in the electrical room looking at our power cabinet where the flow of electrical energy uh, as well as uh, communications are orchestrated. Furthermore, the system is currently still underway. The battery storage system will be here as well which serves its purpose of balancing electrical energy in day-night balances. Quick response uh, to offer balancing services towards the grid. Furthermore, this control cabinet is a safeguard for the local systems, make sure no unsafe situations can occur. The control cabinet also serves as the gateway to receive commands and schedules uh, from our EMS, the, the energy management software which runs in the clouds. Uh, and that gives us uh, forecasted capabilities uh, towards the installation. Here we see our pump groups responsible for pumping around all of the internal hydraulics of the system. We have the water treatment system, which provides deionized water to the electrolyzers. Both buffer systems, a uh, hot buffer to provide spatial heating, and then a cooling buffer to provide cooling power to the residences. And then here, last but not least, we see uh, our substation, which disconnects our internal buffers from uh, a district heating system. So we're now in the hydrogen room in which all components are located that either produce or consume hydrogen, uh, namely the electrolysis system, which converts electricity to hydrogen. Furthermore, we have the fuel cell system still underway currently, which will convert hydrogen back to electricity and heat, which we then store uh, in the hydraulic room, in the thermal buffers. And then last but not least, we have the catalytic boilers, which convert hydrogen to heat in a very high efficiency process. Uh, and the uniqueness of that product is that it is converted without emission of any toxic gases. So no CO2, but also no nitrous oxides. So we are currently at the outside location of the testing facility where we see a few of the major components, uh, namely the heat pump, our low pressure storage and the high pressure storage. In the final installation, the heat pumps would actually be on the roof, so they wouldn't be at the outside location. We store the hydrogen outside for safety purposes. The hydrogen produced by the electrolyzers is stored in the low pressure vessel. The pressure is up to 35 bar. This pressure can then be increased through a compressor assembly uh, to the high pressure storage, where we store at a pressure of around 300 bars. The uniqueness of this, uh, of our EMS software, so the energy management software, is that we can uh, exactly choose the moments when we compress the hydrogen, either being when grid prices are relatively low, which means we can consume at a cheap price, or when grid operators need electrical loads uh, for balancing services towards the grid, or when we have surplus amounts of energy coming from wind or solar energy. Well, Innova Hub is a smart energy hub and it will be used to provide uh, districts with clean and renewable energy throughout the whole year. One of the big problems we face today in the Netherlands is that the grid uh, suffers from congestion at times when there's a lot of renewable energy, there is often excess and too much power on the grid. At other times when there's a lot of demand, there is not enough capacity or not renewable energy. So we need flexible solutions that can buffer and balance and make sure that the supply and demand are always in balance. 
Today we all know that we need to move away from a fossil uh, fuel system and go to a renewable powered energy system. In order to do that we will rely on mainly solar and wind energy in the future. But of course we cannot steer when there's availability of wind and solar uh, energy. So we need smart solutions that make it possible uh, to power most of our appliances uh, and to electrify our world and our mobility with uh, new renewable energy. And that's why we need uh, buffer solutions that can store energy and match supply and demand.